What's cooking folks, Vermillion Phoenix here, and today we're jumping into some more Orcs Must Die in Chain. This time we are playing Frostbite. It is the third map on Master, so it's a little difficult and uh, probably needs some trap upgrades at this point, but we're still not using any yet. We're going to be going into this with the same things that we've been using in the past, and I'm just going to point out that it is much better if you guys come into this map with flame scorchers or floor scorchers spit fires brimstones and grinders because they are the most effective at the different types of enemies that you're going to be running into here in addition to that um smolder would probably be your best choice as the enemies are ice attuned they take more damage from fire less from ice don't bring tundra or hogarth unless you're just going for the victory chest and in that case either bring all the fire traps or bring help but Either way, here we go, we're jumping in. All right, so when you start this, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is hop back here, drop your guardian. All right, and then after that, we're going to drop our barricades over here like so. These, this cascading pattern makes it so that the explosive doors will not attempt to blow your barricades up and uh, it also prevents this little corner area over here from being useful at all so it's a win-win in pretty much every situation uh, now other than that I need to get some burst damage off on these guys so I don't really need that one the main damage is going to come from spikes and the brimstones are pretty much just a way for you to finish off the enemies after they take burst damage same as uh, max's crossbow because the majority of the damage is definitely going to be coming from the traps now whenever you get close to a gate you're going to want to make sure that as much of your damage as possible is spread around so that these guys will pop and the lightning damage will get you combos which you need if you're trying to unchain and you want to unchain a lot because it is going to be your primary method of restoring your HP and mana in most cases. I'm going to take aim to please as usual. Money is really not the issue with this stage. Uh, neither is time. Um, well, time is somewhat. The par is kind of tight. You have about a minute to spare total if you skip all of the, uh, the build phases immediately. So... Your goal is really just to kill things as fast as possible. That's where your space is in the par. Anytime you uh, stop killing things quickly, that's when you'll immediately notice you have issues. Okay. All right, we're gonna use this time to actually go and build the new gate up. And this is sort of the uh, strategy that you want to use for tight par maps. You have to pre-build the gates that are not yet open so that you are able to handle what they're about to dish out. Now it looks like we got Ivy over here. It could be a little bit dangerous just because she's going to try to pick us off from behind the other enemies, but it looks like she left herself a bit too open. So we were able to sort of pick her off from behind her barbarian buddies all right either way we're going to jump back here to see if we can grab anything she just dropped mana boats i'm going to take in the kisser then and sort of come back over here and continue the damage dealing that we were doing okay that's the bear down that makes it so that he doesn't get any HP regeneration back. And then, Mash and Z. All right, now we've already built everything that we wanted there. Okay. All right, now we don't have enough for anything else at the moment. We're going to try to get these guys to explode from lightning damage and arrows. If we can get them to not go too far, 
then we should be able to take out that unstable rift. I think we may have it. There we go. Yes, we should because none of the enemies are actually there. Aim at it, let it go. Don't move the mouse cursor. If you manage to hit it with your in your faces, then you save yourself about a minute of time. Uh, not a minute, maybe about 25 seconds. But it's a significant amount of time because now what you can do is uh, you actually get to wait during one of your breaks, but I'm not yet. I'm going to get up here and start pre-building uh, pre for the things that I know that I'm going to have to worry about later on. So I have about 10 seconds of build time. Once I get back here, I'm going to have to turn around and run. Now I need to hop right back through this portal and then start dealing damage to these guys again. And my hope is that most of the Dwarven guys basically just die before they get far, but sometimes that's not what happens. Like it's very random whether or not they die. So just make sure that not more than one of them blows up near your barricades. If not, you should be completely okay. However, if more than one blows up, you'll probably be patching a hole in your defenses shortly afterwards. All right, there we go. I'm going to run back here again. Actually, for now, let me do this. Crap. All right, that works. And then after all of this happens, we should be pretty solid. Um, when this wave is over, I'm going to run up to the top, or I should say the bottom, where the newest gate is, and then prepare for that to open. There's enough things over here that I really don't have to be worried about what happens. And there's a tiny fraction of people or of cedars that uh, stick over to that right lane. It's really not worth another set of traps, but I need to put some additional traps afterwards to catch them before they actually make it to the rift. Okay. Nice. All right, we managed to do. Oh. Yeah, they are. All right, let's get some more arrow walls up. Going to put that there. And then we're going to get another brimstone here. Now we have some more very dangerous enemies mixed in with all of these guys. We're gonna to try to take this bear out first so his HP regeneration stops being a problem. And then we're going to see what we can do about taking out either Ivy or Gabriella. Maybe both. Both. Nice. And now we want to kill him and also get through this in time to grab Persistent, pick up this health potion, lovely, and then start peppering them with shots. Now, the next area that we're going to pre-build is the last unopened gate. I'm not going to go too far. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We want to keep this build as close to the guardian as possible because these guys are going to cause you a ton of issues rather quickly and not let you go anywhere. So here we go. Okay. Now, it sounds like a bunch of explosive dudes are coming at you, but uh, that's not actually what's happening at all. The unstable rift there isn't really dangerous or interesting at all either. So you want to take those guys out and then get over here and prevent them from really doing anything too. Once you can make sure that they aren't going to get anywhere, let the guys over there run and see if you can manage to get through here 
Nope. Not quite in time. If you manage to get through that in time, though, uh, what you get the opportunity to do is pop that rift and then just come up behind these guys and light them up. And I should be able to kill these before any of them could actually make it over to the rift, which is great, I guess. Okay, now going to put one of these here and then we're going to add even more traps over here and I guess we're going to trap it so that they all have to path over here as well which should help us out a little bit not sure how much probably not as much as I would like it to but uh, there's a few more things that we're going to want to do to sort of shore up what we're going through here and let me see if I can actually get that done without it being a super huge chore. All right, we got them. Now we want these guys gone. They're getting a little bit further along in the pathing. And these are all pride hunters. So they don't matter that much, but what we wanna do is get those up and then elongate their path. Uh, we actually want it to be something like that. And then we're going to take out this heavy giant here and prepare to deal with uh, the boss over here. Now I'm just gonna hop over here and start dealing damage as soon as possible. We have an Unchained, so I'm going to fire that off, fire another one, and we're just going to be dealing all kinds of crazy damage. I'm just gonna keep firing these off as often as I can. All right, and then that actually pretty much gets us through most of what I was worried about, uh, the boss is pretty much dead now, and we just need them to pretty much die. Okay. So they have to actually get through the Guardian before they can get through here. They are dead. And now we have to take out these guys. There's one more of them alive. Why? Is there, oh no, he died, okay. All right, and that was a Hobgoblin Shaman. And that was it. All right, sweet. Five stars. Coincidentally, that was the first time I actually successfully cleared that with Max. So. We got our five star reward and we got our victory chest for Maximilian. Go ahead and open those up now. Wait. So we did 201,000 damage with traps, 106,000 with mechs. So if you've looked at some of my previous master videos, you can see that I normally do about, I don't know, 60 or 70% of the trap damage. Uh, the fact that I'm near half means that the damage reduction here definitely makes a huge difference. So having traps that can sort of circumvent the damage reduction is super important. All right, we got more decoys, more cursed ground, more flip traps, and more tar traps. Got some skulls, more ice shards, more cursed ground, more grinders, grinders good. And just so we're aware, yeah, I'm sitting on a whole lot of trap upgrades right now. Uh, but I'll worry about those after I get done the tutorials or I get to a point where I literally just have to upgrade to win. Either way, this has been uh, great. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching as always. If you felt that this was helpful to you or entertaining in any way, 
feel free to upload it on whichever platform you're on. I primarily do them on YouTube. They're also on VidMe. They may wind up in a couple of other places. Um, if you want to see more things that I'll do, feel free to, you know, just smack that subscribe button. You'll see more things that I do. Eventually, it will branch out into some new things from Orcs Must Die, but those will be coming in the future. There's still a lot of things that I have to create here, including uh, features for the various heroes. There's a few more that I have to unlock personally, but then uh, once I grab those, then you'll see even more about them, and maybe it'll help you guys learn how to play each of them individually, um, but I'll also continue with the tutorials. Either way, thanks again, and until next time, folks, have a good one.